This is my mom. A few things stand out from my family album. First, my mom's style of taking photos. Anyone was at the mercy of her disposable point and shoot. Second, her favorite subjects were me and my brother. She'd give a singular directive exactly two seconds before she snapped a photo. A ver, ponte ahí. Pose right there. Though after a time, my brother's two years of wisdom over me let him in on a secret. You don't always have to do what your mom tells you to do. So after a while, her favorite, because willing subject, was me. So our family album tends to look a certain way. And third, my mom is in very few of the pictures. Part of me was happy being the center of attention, even if I wasn't always the most natural in front of the camera. But another part of me was aware of a discrepancy, that in my memories my mom would be there, but in our photos she would not. I wanted to turn the photos over to see if she was in the back, an idiosyncrasy that followed me out of childhood. In 2016, I visited my grandparents in Mexico. Not much had changed since I'd been there in 1999. The sun had baked the taut surface of the trampoline under our feet, but we couldn't help ourselves. Perhaps at this very moment, my mom had already made up her mind to move us to the US for good. And these photos are a document of the last extended family get together in the simple rhythms of her hometown life. With the move, my brother and I gained many opportunities, but it cost my mom so much more. In 1999, under the anxious supervision of my grandmother, while I tried to jump clear into the vast Mexican skies, I didn't notice her sacrifice. But by 2016, it was hard to miss. On this trip, my grandmother showed me her own family album. I recognized her straight away. It was someone I saw every day of my life. Her optimism, her dedication, her easygoing charm that made the rest of us humor her with her trigger-happy camera. But it wasn't the images themselves that moved me to make this film. Sometimes a child's logic helps put things in perspective. Sometimes she'd write just the date of the year the photo was taken, or how old my brother and I were in it. But more often she'd write letters addressed to friends and family with specific instructions. Rosa, save this letter as a memento that your friend loves you and doesn't forget you because you're my best friend. My mistake was thinking the photos in our family album were my memories at all. I once wondered what meaning these photos held for my mom but she leaves me hints every other week. I think I get the hint. When I look at her photos now, it isn't hard to follow the gaze out of the frame. The gaze of acknowledgement, of amusement, of love. The gaze that mirrored the person's taking the photo. Four-year-olds are notoriously easy to impress, but in 1999, my mom jumped higher than anyone I'd ever seen.